In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a MetaTrader 4 trading platform to make it easier to use and so that it won't take up so much space on your computer monitor. No matter what broker you have used to download the MetaTrader software, when you first open it, it's going to look essentially like this. I'm going to take you step by step through how to set up the MetaTrader 4 platform so that it will be much more usable and take up much less space on your computer screen. And when we're finished, we will have something that looks more like this. I think you'll find this much easier to work with, especially if you don't necessarily use the charting aspect of the MetaTrader software. First, let's identify the main elements of the MetaTrader 4 platform. In the center, there will be four default charts. On the left, there will be the Market Watch window and the Navigator window. At the bottom is the Terminal window. And at the top, you have the Toolbar selections. The Terminal section consists of many different tabs. And when you first open the program, it will be on the Mailbox tab. The first tab on the left is actually the Trade tab. And this is where you will transact your trades. Next is the Exposure tab, the Account History tab, News, Alerts, Mailbox, the MetaTrader Market, MetaTrader Code Base, the tab for Expert Advisors, which are EAs, and last, the Journal tab. The Market Watch tab is the first thing that we're going to actually make some changes to. So I've highlighted it to make it easier for you to see. And I have expanded it in width by left clicking and dragging the right hand edge to the right to make it wider and easier to see. What I'm going to do is change the list of currency pairs that will be available to trade. By right clicking in this area, we will get a drop down box. Then click on Show All in the drop-down box, and that will expand the list to include all of the offerings that your broker has. You can stretch the length of the box by left-clicking and dragging the bottom edge of the box lower. Now that we're showing all of the choices, we're going to go in and delete the currency pairs that we know that we're not going to trade. The first one I'm going to delete is the CHF in OK. I will right click on it and then click on hide and that will take it completely off the list. I'm going to continue going down the list right clicking on all of the pairs that I do not want to keep and hiding them. If you want to know the things that I have kept I've highlighted those in bright green on the screen and those are the only pairs that I have actually kept on my list. The pairs that I have kept on my list are the 28 most commonly traded currency pairs. And if you need to pause the video and copy that list, feel free to do so. When you're finished, the list should look something like this. The next thing that we're going to do is go up to the top to the Tools tab and we're going to change some of the options. When you click on the word Options in the drop-down menu, you will get a workbox where we can change some of the options in the software. The Server tab identifies the broker that you're using and also allows you to change the password on the account if you choose to do that. The next tab is Charts, and because I don't really use the charting part of the MetaTrader software, I uncheck almost everything in this tab. When you get to the Trade tab, I think it's really important to set a default trade size. You can do that by clicking the Default button on the Trade Size, and then on the right-hand side, you can key in to the box the size of trade that you want to make as your default. Personally, I use a one mini lot trade size, so I'm going to key in 0 0.1, which is one mini lot. You will also want to put a check mark in the one click trading box, 
and that will allow you to make trades very rapidly when you need to. After checking the one-click trading box, a disclaimer will come up that you have to agree to and then click OK to activate the one-click trading. In the Expert Advisors tab, you will want to put a check mark on Allow Automated Trading. You can also set up notifications or emails that will be automatically generated through the MetaTrader software. The Events tab allows you to control what sounds will be automatically generated through the software. Personally, I don't like all the sounds that it makes, so I usually disable all of them by unchecking this box. When you click OK, it's going to save all the changes you made in all of the options, and then we'll be finished with that part. Now we're going to start hiding all of the stuff that we don't need to look at on the screen all the time. So the first thing we're going to do is close the market watch window by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner. Next we'll close the navigator window the same way. Next we're going to close all four of the charts the same way. Now we're going to start hiding the toolbars because we really don't need them. But so what we're going to do is right click on the word view, then go down to toolbars and to the right to standard, uncheck it, and then do that same process three more times to uncheck all of the toolbars. Go back up to view again and come down and uncheck the status bar, then do it again and uncheck the charts bar. To shrink the entire window, first click on the little box up here by the close button and then grab the lower right hand corner of the window and right click and just drag it smaller. Once you have your box smaller, you can position it anywhere you want on your computer monitor, but I put this one up in the right hand corner so that you could see proportionately about how large it needs to be. Now left click and drag the top of the terminal window on up to where it's right under the word file and view. Now we're going to adjust the width of the different columns of information. So the first thing we want to do is right click on the first one that says order, come down to auto arrange and uncheck auto arrange. Then grab the right hand edge of the order column and left click and drag it to the left until that column just kind of disappears and looks like this. Then adjust the time column the same way so that it really isn't even showing. Then space out the rest of the columns kind of like what you see here one by one. Once you have the trade tab finished then click on the account history tab. In this tab, we will again right click on orders, go down and uncheck auto arrange. Reduce the size of the order column, the time column, and then looking to the right, the other time column, which is the when you close the trade, and then adjust the rest of the columns kind of like what you see here. When you're finished adjusting the width on the columns, your MetaTrader software should look something like this. And now you're ready to start trading. So we'll take that up in the next video. I hope this video has helped you, and thanks for watching.